Uh, hello, my name is Brian, uh, and I'm a baker. I've been doing it for a couple months now, and I just wanted to show uh, my day-to-day -day here at the bakery. I uh, start my day off about 8 in the morning. I have to be up by, uh, by 6 a.m. because it takes me about an hour to get to work. Uh, that's that's the other baker. And I just I start off by, by shaping the, or gluten-free baguettes. And what I put on top is just sesame seeds and uh, sesame seeds, meats, and just sunflower seeds on top. Um, and then I try to make it uh, nice and even as possible. So you can see here, I'm going to use a rolling pin and try to flatten it down. Pull more on the other side. See, nice. It's a nice and uh, nice and even rectangle. And what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to. I'm gonna cut it into big, like long rectangles. And then from there, I'm gonna do like way smaller rectangles, which should be about 60 to 65 uh, grams each. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a twist, uh, which is gonna give him like a, a nice nice shape. And then they're gonna go in the in the puff for about an hour. As you can see there, do like a twist. We'll get in get a nice shape. And that's what they look like after I'm done. It gives me about about three sheet trays more or less and then my next project is uh gluten free parker house rolls gotta make sure those molds are really nicely uh really nicely coated because once it gets stuck there there's no way to get them out That's our mixture that we use. It's, it's kind of like a pancake batter mix. I just weigh them out in the molds. And then I proof it for about an hour. And that's what they look like after I'm done. This is this is me and the the other baker taking a quick five minute break to get some uh, some breakfast in. Got some eggs and potatoes. And then what I'm doing next is uh, this is for our, our pa uh, panelette. Basically, the dough's already been made and uh, and rested. For about thirty minutes, uh, and then I I fold it down to the size of the sheet pan, uh, and then I rest it for for another hour, and then that's ready to get laminated. These are mini burger 
burger buns that we use for for latelier. These things are a real pain to shape. Uh, they're really, really small and it takes, takes a long time to get them right. It's pretty hard at first, but once you get into it, it's pretty easy. He's doing some egg wash and then some sesame seeds on top. And going next on to those, the same ones that I did earlier. They're ready to bake. Start them, laying them nice and evenly. So they all get a nice, nice cook to them. Nice bake. This is what the uh, the little burger buns look after they've been baked. So they're beautiful. Nice little rounds, nice and brown. And then these are the uh, the gluten free baguettes after they're uh, done baking. These they, they don't really puff off a lot. Uh, And that's what they look like. And what I'm doing next series, um, this is for baguette. I'm just doing a stretch and fold. 
but I like to stretch it out like like really really well it gives it a give it some good good uh, tension on that and we do this uh we do it twice before we let it rest overnight. And what I'm gonna do next is, is the panel light that I was doing earlier. It's basically been an hour and it's it's ready to uh to pass it to the shitter. Uh I'm just gonna make it nice and long to the size that I want it to, so I can do a single fold and then I go from there. This is the baguette from yesterday that we, it's already been proofed overnight. I'm just shaping it, well, I'm just cutting it into little pieces. Um, that Then we can start shaping them into balls. Then we proof them, and then we shape it into the little baguettes, proof again, and then bake. These are the little mini sliders that I was talking about earlier. They're so small and there's such a pain to, uh, like when you first start shaping these, they're, they're pretty complicated to get right. But once you do a couple hundred of those, it's still not that easy, but it's a lot faster. You can see here the, I mean, they really have to be like perfectly round. Because if not, when they when they bake, they uh, they either like come out like super messed up. This is basically after the dough has been already shaped. 
is the baguette. The baguette dough has been already shaped um, in, into uh, balls. And then we pass it through the, to the machine that makes them into nice little logs. And now we basically shape them into do the baguette shape, <laughs> which then gets proofed, uh, followed by the bake. So these are the Parker House rolls that have already been proofed and baked. I'm um, just spraying them with some water so they get a nice, nice um, glossiness to them. These are one of my favorite breads here at the bakery. Gluten-free bread. I mean, I'm not like, I don't really care too much about having a gluten-free bread, but I love these, these breads. That's what they look like, nice and glossy. Here are the baguettes already proofed and ready to bake. Just lay them, make sure they are nice and even. See them side down. And we score them and we're ready to bake.
that's the result. Real nice, nicely score, nice and brown. Perfect. And this is the panel lay uh, that I was on earlier. Uh, after it's been laminated, uh, it's ready to be cut up and use our escargot, which I didn't, ha I didn't get a chance to uh, to show you, but um, that's that's just the the breads that we have ready for service. Here's the panel that's already been cooked. That's the escargot. And the mini baguettes. And it pretty much ends my day here. Uh, pretty easy day. You can see here, I left about 3.30. So that's gonna pretty much wrap up uh, my day at the bakery. Pretty easy day today. We didn't, I left about, yeah, like at 3.30. Um, so it wasn't too bad. But uh, it's my first time doing this kind of video, so if you want to see more, just uh, just let me know, I guess. 